I think if you have to be part of something, there has to be rules and regulations. And I think what CAF is doing is that it's slowly trying to make clubs realize that you have to be professional when you get to a certain point. And I think those are the requirements that are being brought downwards to all the countries, I mean, across Africa. Now, if we have to get to the level of your Zamaleks, your Al Alis, your Mamelodi Sundowns, then these are the baby steps that you need to begin with. And I think you need to ask yourself, if you can't meet these requirements, then why are you part of the game? I, I think it's just reality being slapped on us that really, really think big. Uh, let's not deal with petty small issues. When you're running a club, think big. You need to have finances guaranteed. You need to, we as CEOs, need to stop doing things that the manager should be doing. We need to step out there and look for money for the club because that's partial role of a CEO. And then run an organized team. Have a setup where you have a chairman, give you a organogram, those are things you're being told. Have a youth setup because if you have a youth setup, it builds onto the pathway of the future of Kenyan football. Because if you have an under 10, under 14, these are the future players. Uh, that will feature in the top league. So they need us to have that pathway. Uh, we're being told, do not forget about the women because they're as important as the men. So don't only do the men's, also do the women's. So I think those things is all in a way that CAF wants Africa to develop in terms of football. And those are the steps to begin with. I think it's just like going up five floors. You have to begin from the ground floor, first floor. I think those are now there the direction we're being shown. Uh, club licensing, it's a, a good uh, uh, procedure because one, it is going to instill discipline in clubs uh, because at, at my club we insist on integrity, which I think the club licensing is capturing that. Transparency, we the same thing, the club license is, is, is capturing that. Paying players, which has been a big problem in our league. Teams go into contracts with the players, but they don't honor those contracts. For instance, in my uh, team, Kenya Police FC, there's no player that has a debt for salary. But so to, to say, other teams, as uh, we, we speak to other players, they run into debts with the players. But class, club licensing is going to reinforce on that, which is a very good agenda on, on, on what we are discussing today. Another thing is uh, the women football. I acquired women, uh, a, a, a ladies team just recently, and talking to the girls, we discovered that uh, we need to do uh, to, to put much effort in ladies football because ladies have been left aside. For instance, uh, there's no team in this country which pays ladies. Nobody. They just play and they go back home. Another thing that I've seen the club licensing is about uh, medication. We must have compulsory medical cover for our players. Because when an injury sinks in, a player might likely not go back to the field or go back to the field, depending with the cover that you've given him. If he has no cover, trust me, you, the player will not go back to the field. But if you have a right medication, the player will go back to the field. Legal representation. Many people, many clubs don't have legal representation. Like in today's uh, workshop, I, police FC, I came with my legal officer because I knew most of the articles were touching on legalities. And it's only the legal officer who can be reminding you people or us that we need ought to have to done this and this and this. So I want to encourage also my teammates that whenever we go, let us carry along legal officers who understand these languages about articles and laws and regulations, because FIFA, CAF, Federal FKF, they are all anchored on what? on rules and regulations. Uh, club licensing, as you well know, is a process which was set up by 
uh, both FIFA and CAF um, <clears throat> that charts a way to professionalize uh, club football, uh, not just globally but also uh, locally. Uh, so FIB works with clubs. Um, today's workshop uh, was to sensitize the clubs. Um, they're already aware of licensing but they've been a new set of regulations that have been put together uh, by CAF, uh, which the local federation is also a member association. Um, one of the things that um, is new in this particular licensing regime uh, is uh, that all the applications will be done online for club licensing. Um, and this is, it requires sensitization. The clubs are aware of the regulations uh, that they need to do, and therefore there was need for them uh, just to come and participate. Uh, not just sensitize, but it's also a participation uh, because what happens with the regulations, they are set regulations which are mandatory. However, each member association um, of the confederation uh, can discuss with the clubs uh, what is mandatory and what is not mandatory. Um, I think one of the things that we need to um, address is for a long time we've been talking about uh, the national team, um, the under 20s and, and just the national structure, but we've forgotten about the clubs. The clubs are the roots of football and therefore if you do not address uh, the root of football, uh, then you'll be uh, looking at a failed structure at the top. And therefore licensing is a pathway towards professionalism. Uh, ensuring that clubs are professionalized. Uh, clubs are now not just uh, societies or um, what I would say um, is community clubs. Clubs, even the community clubs are taking a structure of a professional outfit. Uh, in the 80s we were talking about uh, professional football in this country. We even had Volcano FC, which was a professional. So you can't have football players who are professionals, yet the structure uh, is not a professional structure. Um, <clears throat> clubs are economic units also, and therefore we have to think uh, how do we manage this particular uh, 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 setup. Uh, and therefore it's important that we set up that structure in a professional way and address it from the root.